420 plus 69 equals party time. Just wondering if they were doing some 420 before they got that tattoo. Like, they didn't even try to make it look clean. It looks like someone just went over the tattoo like multiple times. The lines aren't clean. I can just imagine him out in public though, like, yo, bro, you and I have the sickest tattoo, you know? Bam! Look at that. Totally sick, aren't I right? <laughs> I bet that man has never 69 in his life. If you guys don't know what that is, don't Google it. Please, never. Never, ever. Oh Lord, boner garage. Dude, she just copied the stripper from Where the Millers. Uh, well, mm, check it out. Boner garage, arrow there even. Only in America. Oh man, the bathing suit and everything. Yeah, no, that's not okay. She's canceled. Boner garage, you are canceled. What the hell is this? You know in horror movies where like a parent walks into their child's room and they're like, oh sweetie, what are you drawing? And they turn and their child has like drawn this scary monster and they're like, oh my God, my child's a demon. That's what it looks like. One of those drawings from a horror movie, like insidious on your back over there. Thank you. Next. Brad. 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 Oh my god, Brad Pitt. No. I guess it's better than getting a terrible tattoo of like Brad Pitt on your body, but why? Yo, Brad Pitt, you want to see the tattoo that I got of you? Oh, I should censor my armpits. Some people like my armpits. I don't, I don't get it. Really don't get the armpit fetish, but... Sorry, I don't give that out for free. Wifey, and it absolutely looked like it was her idea. She's thrilled, and he is just like, God save me. He is not having it. He wants out of that relationship ASAP. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but like once it's on your face, dude, that's it. You're screwed. <laughs> oh, okay, so we had this guy who I guess is lacking of the hair. Is bald an offensive term? I don't know. One with lacking of hair, just being politically correct. And uh, instead of getting a hair transplant, I guess maybe a tattoo is cheaper and they just full on the whole head. I mean, the back is clean as hell, but what's going on with the weird sideburns and the fade? Did he actually think this was gonna turn out looking natural? because it straight up looks like a kid took a sharpie to his head and just like drew on his head. You're stuck wearing a wig for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. Don't go out in public like that. In case you thought he was the only one, no, I guess this is common because look at this guy. Is this a common thing? Because it was also featured in my last video. Flashback. Okay, so here's uh, what not to do if you're bald. This. Don't do this. Why are people doing this? I don't know. I don't know. Society is killing me. Another one. Oh my gosh. This dude not only has bangs, but he did the beard as well. It's the beard, man. Maybe even the eyebrows. At this point, I can't tell. And he has hair. He just, I guess, wanted some nice fringe to compliment his face. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Need covered ASAP. Please tag professional tattoo artists in the area. No hate comments. And I can see why you would want that covered up. I understand now. I understand. So if anyone watching this video does tattoo cover-ups, hit him up because he needs that off his body ASAP. So this guy apparently has a birthmark on his leg and he turned that birthmark into this. A very shitty idea. Very shitty idea. <laughs> Okay, we got a lion and Michael Jackson and a butt chin that looks like a ball sack. I don't know where they were going with this. It looks like a toddler did it. This is, this is awful. In case you wanna go out barefoot in public, you should just get a tattoo of Adidas slides on your feet. While you're at it, never wash your feet ever. Cause he's got dirt ground in his toenails. And I feel so sorry for the tattoo artist that was up close and personal with those crusty, dusty, and musty toes. That is not okay. I hope they got a big tip because that is not okay. Only good can me. Only good can me? Is it supposed to be God? Only God can me? Wait, what is this supposed to say? <sighs> Only good... I genuinely have no idea what this tattoo is supposed to say. If anyone has any idea what this is, please let me know because I am genuinely concerned and I'm genuinely curious actually, genuinely curious. 
but he just gave beer belly a new meaning. I hope he was sponsored by Blue Ribbon Beers and he got paid to have this advertising on him. Cause why would you spend, like that's probably like over a thousand dollar tattoo. Why would you spend that much money on that tattoo? That is my question. We got another person that got more branded tattoos. This guy clearly loves Kit Kat. I'm gonna start off by saying it's a good tattoo. Like it doesn't look trash. The tattoo itself is good. The placement, no, never. Back of the head, never. Why? And what's the point to always showcase your love for Kit Kat no matter where you are? If you get a tattoo of Kit Kat, do you get Kit Kats for life? Cause sign me up. Just kidding, it's still not worth it. Dad's angle. Oh no, it was probably meant to be like a really serious and thoughtful tattoo for their father and dad's angle. I could see if it was spelled like A-N-G-L-E. A lot of people mix up angel and that kind of, you know, angle like acute, obtuse. This is not a cute tattoo at all. It's not. Realize, realize, realize. Who hurt her? Who hurt her is the question. This woman was hurt by some man, got a revenge tattoo. Those eyes are probably of the woman that her ex cheated on her with. And you know that when you walk into her house on the wall is a live, laugh, love poster. You already know. Knowledge is power. Yes, knowledge is power. If only you did have some knowledge when you went to go get that tattoo on you permanently for life. That's what permanently means. You know, some people should just not be allowed to get tattoos at all. And they're one of them. Remember how I said some people shouldn't get tattoos? Yeah, he's another example. Uh, like it's a cool tattoo. The artist did a good job, little optical illusion. It's on you for life, bud. Imagine taking some girl home or guy and you take off your shirt and they see that. Okay, what would your reaction be? Mine would be, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> because why would you get that? Maybe it was funny at the time, but imagine being grandpa rocking that. Actually, no, you'd be pretty cool at the retirement home, not gonna lie. I'm awesome. You certainly are, but you forgot an E. You don't know even how to spell the thing that you are. I don't think you're awesome. I think you are stupid. <laughs> Now, why would you do this? She must have been, or he, intoxicated. Because why would you get McDonald's on your back by your ass crack? Ba da ba ba, no, no. You got an ass tap too? Ew, what is this? It looks like a brain, but like a very bad brain. And what's with the sh all over your shirt? Is it an infected tattoo? According to this person, it's supposed to be a galaxy. Yeah, you need to get that tattoo far, far away from me. Thank you. No regrets. No regrets. Not even a single letter. No regrets. You have no regrets? Dad? No. Like, not even a single letter? No. We love it. We absolutely love that tattoo. Good for you, bud. Good for you. Uh, this person has a shit and a spade on their arm. Uh, and it says, I did these two by myself and on myself. LOL. I don't know why he would do that, but let's keep reading. I had to do something easy on myself so I could practice, lol. You know there's fake skins that you can do practice on. You don't have to ink up your own arm. The spade, okay, whatever. What the fuck is this turd with a face on it? Yeah, someone literally says, what is that? <laughs> then he said, man, it's supposed to be a blunt, but I fucked it up, so I gotta wait till it heals and fix it, LMAO. You fucked up. Yeah, you that up real bad like real bad you just chop off your whole arm at that point i'm sorry uh sprite wait whoa 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 why is the sprite pouring down their lower belly and then it says obey my pussy <laughs> um okay there okay uh okay okay I no, I actually don't know what to say. Like I'm actually speechless. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. Like what does Sprite and, and, and vaginas have to do? Like, like they don't go together. 
I'm not gonna sit here and figure it out. No. Place boob here! <laughs> okay. Uh, well. Well then. Yeah, I don't think you're ever gonna get a professional job. <laughs> You go to give someone a high five, they're like, whoa, dude, what does your hand say? <laughs> Boobs! Again, you're an old man at a retirement home? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Literally, imagine your grandpa having this, and you're like, Ew, gramps, like, what the fuck? Get that lasered off. Like, no one wants to see it. It's gross. And I don't think they're ever gonna get a partner. Like, this just cock-blocked it for them, okay? Oh my god, okay, uh, this person has I love vagina written on them and then stick figures of people fucking. And oh, you know what? Sorry, I missed a tattoo. It makes sense now. The one arching across says hi. So, it makes sense now. I think he was high when he got this tattoo. At least he's appreciating the female body. Mm-hmm. Penis, the woman's vagina. Prom queen. Prom queen. Prom queen. I mean, you could remove the P and it's just Rome queen, like you're the queen of Rome. There you go. <laughs> or just get the whole thing lasered off, please. You only life once. Yes, you only life once. Good job, and you decided to tattoo that on your body for a live. Yeah, so. Good one there, buddy. Strength and courage, strength. I'm sorry, is it the tattoo artist that can't spell or is it the person getting it or both? You know what I'm saying? Because you have to double check. They put the stencil down and then you go, yeah, it looks good or no, looks bad. So they put the stencil on this person and the person was like, yeah, it's sick. <sighs> oh, demon children, demon children, demon children. I understand that you uh, love your children, but if you love them, don't do this because that's horrifying and they're gonna grow up and absolutely hate it. Like imagine their family photo. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't judge. Maybe they look like that in real life and uh, I shouldn't judge. They're just a beautiful family. All right, okay. All right, okay. I think that's supposed to be Benjamin Franklin because it says money talk. Not even money talks, no, just money talk. And you got Benjamin Franklin on you. You know, they did a really good job. It definitely looks exactly like him. So this artist is just amazing. Believe in Yusuf and never lose hoop. Okay, so who is Yusuf and who is hoop? That's certainly not supposed to say believe in yourself and never lose hope. No, not at all. His best friend's names are Yusuf and Hoop, so it's actually like a tribute to them. It's really nice. Sarcasm. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, business in the front, party in the back, maybe? It's actually kind of funny. You know, it's funny, and he, I'm being stereotypical, but he looks like he probably is in like a like sick hardcore like biker group or something. You know what I'm saying? And like, this is probably like rad. Maybe all the biker people have this tattoo. They're all bald and they're called the double faces. Bam. <laughs> well, there it is. So this lovely individual got a tattoo of a pussy on their face. Vagina? And it had to be blurred because it was that detailed. So first of all, congrats to the tattoo artist that did such a detailed job. But uh, good luck ever getting a professional job, ever. Or you know what, any job in general. Just good luck with that <laughs> meow meow on your face. <laughs> we got a tattoo cover up instead of Mary, you got March KO. This is actually really good. Like, good, good. First of all, that's why you don't get your partner's name tattooed on you anywhere, no matter what. But this cover up, yo, so funny. What else could you do with it? Literally nothing. So now you have a love for Marge from The Simpsons. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. This fool took too much Xanax and got a Cardi B face tattoo. Who's going to tell him? Honey, that is not Cardi B. That's not. Did you pay attention in history class? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Melodica! <laughs> uh, yes, my favorite band is Melodica. <laughs> Nothing else mattress. <laughs> 
No, not nothing else matters. No. Melodica, nothing else mattress. That's actually the rival band. <laughs> oh, good old MJ. Rest in peace, the king of pop. Forever with us. He touched so many. Bro. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but we're all thinking it. We're all thinking it, okay? Whether the allegations were true or not, he touched so many is just, just, just don't have that next to Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, so we got another tattoo cover up. So they covered up their tramp stamp and. Uh, Honey, I would have left it the way it was originally. Because now you got a full on crow. Shing grass or something. I don't even. Did you just have your child take a tattoo gun and just. That's 10 times worse. What were you thinking? That's like. That's awful. It went from. Oh, okay. Like getting a little tramp stamp, a little ooh. To what the fuck is that on your back? <laughs> Okay, so here's uh, what not to do if you're bald. This. Don't do this. There's uh, a thing called wigs, and I highly recommend. They're cheaper. They don't hurt to put on. Bro, the shading. This probably took like all day, and their head was probably super swollen. Why? We got a little nipple tat, and somebody turned their nipple into ham that a dinosaur is munching on. I mean, it's funny, but again, like, just why? Why would you do this to yourself? Okay, so it says, took my girl to get tatted. Okay, what do y'all think? I think y'all should get your money back. Uh, that's what they wanted, and that's what they got. No. <gasps> no! No! It's not even the same! Like, there's nothing that's similar. You got a lion, and they're lying to you if they said that they're a good tattoo artist. Oh, here we go. It is my life, uh, John Bovey. Yes, good old John Bovey. If you guys don't know who that is, it is Bon Jovi's brother. <laughs> Evil twin brother. <laughs> Not It's My Life, no. It is It is My Life by John Bon Bovey. <laughs> okay, we got another winner here. Yeah, straight up winner. They just love Marka. They they love Marka. They love freedom and they got an eagle on their forehead. It's a really good tattoo. Like I'm not gonna lie, the artist did a really good job, but why would you get it across your forehead? Like I want that sucker right here. If I have a tattoo, I want a visible 24-7. I think I have been cursed by this child. No, Damon! Damon! That is horrifying and I really hope your daughter does not actually look like that in real life. I can't even look at her anymore because her eyes are like staring into my lifeless. Like there's, it's gone. She has my soul now. Let's just close that real quick and move on. We ain't gotta see that any longer. Oh my God, this is worse than the nipple tattoo. Again, like it's funny, but it's on you for life. For life, dude. You got a monkey fingering another monkey's butthole on you for life. Oh my god, so this is apparently Gordon Ramsay as like a fucking Pegasus or like what is- First of all, that is not Gordon Ramsay, okay? This guy looks cursed. That is not Gordon Ramsay whatsoever. You may be slightly stupid. But like, is your love for Gordon Ramsay that strong that you're like, mm, yes, I'm gonna get a tattoo of him, but he's not gonna be cooking, no. He's gonna be half Gordon, half horse, with purple in the background and a rainbow as well because I'm gay for him. Like, I don't understand people's logic at all. Okay, I mean, you might as well just wear the real thing instead of getting a tattoo of a fake one. Buddy got a tattoo of a G-string and I'm curious to see if it goes, <laughs> actually I don't wanna see, but like how far down does that go? Like, did he tattoo in the crack? Is there a front piece? Like, did he tattoo his, Wiener? Like, also he looks like a big, tough man, so it's kind of like contradicting. Like, he looks like someone at a bar that you would get into a bar fight with, but then he has this tattoo. Oh, honestly, I think it was probably like a dare. It has to be a dare, because why would you willingly get that? You know what I'm saying? They wanted this cool wolf tattoo, and this is what they got. Bro, that's, a, that's not even a wolf. Like, it looks like a 
Muppet. Like, does no one vet these artists? And how do you let them do that much without realizing like, oh shit, this is starting to look really bad. Cause that's really bad. Oh, this one's actually really good. Okay, we got the Lion King tattoo. This actually looks really good. Uh, Hakuna Matata. What is up with Timon? <laughs> Yo, everyone looks good. You got Simba, Nala, the guy that made me absolutely ball my eyes out. And you got Timon, who does not look well at all. <laughs> Yo, it looks like that dude from that show. I'm- I don't- I don't know the name, so... The random show or some sh- It looks more like him than it does Timon. Okay, for all you astrology lovers, we got the phases of the moon all down her leg, and it looks like she did this herself, considering the amount of disgusting sh thrown all over her bed, she must have just done this herself. You had nine attempts to make a perfect circle and you failed every single time. Oh, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. I know they regret this. I know they do. There's no way that they still like this tattoo or ever liked it. That's my credo, no regrets. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we got a person that got someone's name tattooed on them, like a loser. So it says Megan. Cross it out. Oops, I meant Holly. And they didn't learn the second time because what if they break up with Holly? It's gonna be crossed out. Oops, I meant Emily. Oops, I meant Emma. Oops, I meant Crystal. Like, it, it's just gonna keep going all across his body if he keeps breaking up with these ladies. So, this is what he wanted and this is what he got. That's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. It literally looks like a toddler took a Sharpie and just went and like scribbled on his back. I'm zooming in. The shading is just awful. And he okayed it? Like did they do this freehand and he was just like, yeah, no, it looks good. Cause normally they like stencil it for, this was freehand, this was awful and it was done by a toddler and a discussion. Stop making fun of me. Pussy eater, oh. I have no words. How much pussy is he actually eating with that tattoo? I don't think any. Oh, burn. I think all the ladies are looking at him and being like, fuck, get away from me. And he's never getting a real job again. He's not. You can't, you can't. Welcome to McDonald's. It's me, pussy eater. Oh my gosh. This person wanted to get, I guess, a constellation on her chest and it just looks like blackheads. It looks like blackheads or a bunch of ticks are on her. This is awful. And also like, you know, the whole like, my eyes are up here. I, I'm sorry, if I were talking to you, it's just I'm staring at those the whole time. I'm trying to figure out what went through your mind. Nothing. Okay, we got a cute little Playboy bunny uh, and it says, happy birthday to me. Thanks baby for my tattoo. Absolutely love it. So clearly her partner did this tattoo for her as a birthday gift and it's probably the first tattoo that they ever did because this is absolutely awful. The lines, like look at the ear. Like he fucked up on the ear and was like, oh, let me just, let me just go back over it. And the fact that she proudly posted this on Facebook and is like, I love it, thanks baby. <sighs> I wonder if she's dating Crab Man. They should get together, because clearly they don't see anything wrong with their tattoos. It is so bad, I want to give you a zero, but that's not possible, so I give you a one. Oh my. First of all, I just want to say that whoever did this tattoo, you are an amazing artist, but why would you agree to do this? Also, a tattoo on the head? Ow. And also, when your hair grows back, like, your tattoo's covered. Like, it's gone. Unless there's that one perpetual bald spot and that spot never grows back hair and that's why they just got this, but I can't say anything bad. The tattoo's really good. The only thing is just why. No. Oh! Same with this one. It's a really well done tattoo, but why? I have a phobia of snakes, so this just, this is too much. This is also like the tryptophobia or whatever the hell. Trypophobia. I don't have that, but this is triggering for me. Like this is just like, I, f <gasps> <gasps> I can't look at it any longer. Like this is, this is too much. This is too, like, don't do that. Mm. It's too much. Oh, okay, we got um, Varth Dater because that is definitely not Darth Vader. It is not. That's his 
wannabe cousin. This is awful. Like, it looks like they got that far and the tattoo artist is like, yo, buddy, I'm sorry, I actually can't do this. And just gave up halfway through. You're gonna need someone to go in and fix that up big time, big time. I was gonna say it looks nothing like him, but I figured out it was Darth Vader, but it's just awful. Like, again, it looks like a kindergarten drew this and did it. Maybe that's the concept he was going for, you know? It's so bad. Whoa, that's a c that is a big c Again, I will say, very well done tattoo. Like, this is incredible. It looks super realistic, I'm not gonna lie. This probably took a million sessions and probably cost a million dollars. And I wanna know why you got that. Cause like, my favorite animal is a cow, but I'm not going around getting a cow tattoo. So if your favorite animal is a rooster, Also that big. That's what she said. Like just on your... <sighs> I just wanna know what was going through his mind when he spent thousands of dollars on this tattoo. Like he must really love cock. <laughs> oh! Oh! Same with this one. Oh, I keep... I'm just taking it all in. Like there's just, the more you look, there's more that you... You just notice more. Okay, let's break this down. So, uh, again, very well and detailed tattoo. So, she is currently housing four adorable kittens in her stomach. You have bananas. Why? Do cats like bananas? I don't know. That are coming out and the bananas have like little feet. I just don't know why. Again, spending thousands of dollars going through that much pain to this, to get this, to get this. You must really freaking love cats. You must really love pussy. <laughs> Yo, her and pussy eater? I'm setting y'all up. I'm setting y'all up. So this is what they wanted, uh, and this is what they got. Now the problem you see here is that I guess the person that got the tattoo showed the reference photo of the person on the left, and they put the dude's nipple on him. Cause the penguin dude from Batman, he ain't got a nipple on his throat. But in the tattoo, he now does. So you now have a tattoo of someone else's nipple on your arm. Good job. I mean, it's not a terrible tattoo, but considering like the one on the left is so good, this one looks like absolute garbage. Garbage! Like if somebody comes in and is like, hey, can you recreate this and you can't? Be honest. That's on you, boo-boo. That's on you. Okay, this guy got a tattoo of glasses. Again, if you have morals as a tattoo artist, you're gonna put your foot down and be like, yo, that's fucking stupid. Just wear glasses. Don't get a tattoo of glasses. That arm, it's not even done right. Like, the lenses are all wonky. Look how happy that, no, he's drunk. He's definitely drunk. And he thought this would be funny and a good idea. And then he's gonna wake up the next morning and be like, I don't wear glasses, what the, can't take it off. Oh my god. Okay, we got a foot for all my foot fetish lovers out there. You know who you are. And this guy must really love Converse high tops because he got a tattoo of them. Or maybe he hates wearing shoes and all establishments are like, yo, you can't enter here barefoot. And so he thought he could get away with it by like tattooing a shoe on him. Be like, yo, technically I'm wearing shoes. No. Like, are they gonna get shading done so it will eventually look like he's wearing... I don't even wanna know. I don't wanna know. Like, this is just stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... It's it's dumb. It's a dumb tattoo. And we can still see your toes. So what are you gonna do? Chop off all your toes? Okay, Cinderella. 